Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, guys, I'm giving you an update on the new Emo's house, so stay tuned. And hey, if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Guys, I'm making progress on the patio portion of the new Emo's house. So let's hop on out into the living room and let me show you what I've done so far. So there is the patio. It is almost completed right now, but I just wanted to show you guys what I did to it. Of course, you see the main focus there is that grill. That is the pink grill from the Dollar Tree. I did a primer coat on it and then I painted it with a glossy black and a silver. I think it came out really nice. I mean, there's a couple spots there. I could have sanded it down beforehand, but it's all a learning project for me. So I know next time, especially when I do the kitchen, that I should sand it a little bit. I may even take this at some point and redo it, but for now, I think the grill looks really nice. We've got the furniture from the Dollar Tree. I got the little double chair there. And I've got the lounge chair. I've got some of the little plants that I got. This one, I can't remember. I think, did I get that at the Dollar Tree? I think I did. It might have been Hobby Lobby. But this one back here, I definitely got at Hobby Lobby, just to give the patio a little bit of green. And then you'll see the tree. That was actually one of the little plant picks from Hobby Lobby. And the little bird that I got at Hobby Lobby. There's one in the tree. And for right now, there's one on the fence. He's going to live in the birdhouse when I finally paint that. I got the white picket fence all the way across the front and across the side. So there's a fence all the way around. I think I got the fence, was it Michael's? Yeah, and it was like a really good price. Or it may have been Hobby Lobby. I can't remember guys, I went to both, so I cannot remember exactly what I did with that. I made a little curtain area entrance into the little game room. Donald's in there playing some video games right now, but the game room's for another time, guys. The curtains, I just used little kind of wall stick hooks, and I had gotten that package of colored dowels from Walmart, so I have one of those as the curtain rod. And then the curtains themselves, that was just one of those fat squares that I got from Walmart. The pattern is the little palm tree and summer pattern. I pretty much just cut it in half. I made a large loop around the dowel and then I just hot glued it shut and then slid the dowel through. And then for the bottom hem, same thing. I cut off a bunch and then I folded it up and kind of made a seam with the hot glue. And then the parts that I cut off, I'm just using right now. I'm gonna make them a little bit nicer. And right now they are just tight on there, holding the curtains to the pillars. Behind the grill, that's the little knife holder that I found at the thrift store. I still want to do a couple of things with that, but for now I just thought it looked like a very nice decoration. And then for the flooring of the patio, this was one of my favorites, guys. These are bamboo placemats that I got at Ross, and I thought they made an excellent, excellent flooring for the patio. It looks like decking. On the two front corners, I have two more of those dowels. I picked purple. I thought the purple was fun. And then wired across those, and then across the back fence, I've got some little party lights. And I can change those lights out through the year. These are Christmas lights that I got a few years ago, and they used to be on my desk at work, but I brought them home, and they are now a part of the new Emo's house. But they have a little battery pack. Just turn that on and I just kind of hide the battery pack right now behind the chairs in the plant but they're lit I don't know if you could see it real well let me turn the light out so there they are all lit up with the light out 
They're really cute. If I find other ones I like, I'll, I can change them out easily. They are not permanently attached, but they are super cute. And the fence across the back of the patio, I got those at Target. It's two pieces. So there's one, two, three, four slats on one, and one, two, three, four slats on the other one. Those are just little wood hangings that you can find in the craft section at Target, and they were $5 a piece. I am not finished with those guys. I am actually going to stain them, but since I don't have any stain, I found a way to do it to make it look like a stain, but it's really not, but I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let me show you how to stain the wood using acrylic paint. So you'll need the piece that you're going to stain. You'll need whatever color you want to use. I wanted to do some type of brown. All I had right now is chocolate brown, so I'm going to try that and hopefully it doesn't come out too dark. And also, you're going to need some type of wipes. I've got the Cottonelle flushable wipes. You could use baby wipes. Just don't use the antibacterial ones. I'm not sure how that would react with the paint, but we'll try these for now. So let's stain this with acrylic paint. Got the wipe. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of paint on there and not too much guys yeah that doesn't look real good that looks kind of gross doesn't it but you've got your board I'm gonna start on the back just to give you an example and you can just wipe it on the board and it gives it a really nice stain And yeah, it takes a little bit of work, but I think it comes out looking really nice. And it's even lighter once you start kind of wearing it off of your wipe there. But you can take what you have and kind of spread it out and make it a little bit thinner. But yeah, I like that color, guys. What do you think? Like that color for the fence? And yeah, then it just looks like stained wood. And then you're just gonna let it dry. And there is the fence, all stained, exactly how I wanted it to come out. I think it looks totally rad. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like it a lot better like that. But you know what this porch is missing? It's missing some new emos. So let's grab some of them so you can see how everything looks. So there they are having their barbecue. Tigger's manning the grill. He's very proud of the interior design he came up with for the patio. But you will see, I have him up on blocks right now, guys. The grill from the Dollar Tree is just a little bit tall for the new emos. So I'm gonna make a little pad around the grill for him to be able to stand on or for any of the new emos to be able to stand on to make it look more, you know, the right size for him. But we're gonna let them continue their little barbecue. And that is it for the patio. The next room I will be doing will be the game room. I've got a little bit of it going right now. Guys, one of my viewers found the skee ball machine for me, but I'm gonna be kind of redoing that kind of like I did the grill. I will be redoing the pool table. And I've already started redoing the game, so it's high enough. Donald's really into it back there, but Yep, stay tuned, game room is next. So guys, what do you think? Do you like what I've done with the patio? Should I move some stuff around? I am having a blast with this. It's of course taking longer than I thought it would between working full time, doing YouTube full time, and then trying to use some free time to work on that new Emos house. But hey, it's okay, like I said, I'm having fun. And in the end, I'm hoping it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful thing. I don't know, what do you guys think of it so far? Let me know in the comments. But next I have the game room. I'm going to work on that a little bit more. And then coming up, like I promised, I'm going to have you guys vote what I'm doing next. That will be on, I think I'm going to put it on the Instagram and in my Facebook group. So links to both of those are in the description of the video if you're not following or if you're not a member yet. So go ahead and join and I hope to see you there. But anyways, in the meantime, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say. 
We'll see you later.